The aim is to show all of you just how easy it is to build on Hedera and also to convince you to build as well. While we're at it, we thought we might show you some of the behind the scenes work that goes into actually making that process easy for you and how we continually make that developer experience better and better. So Brendan and I will be co-presenting this next section. All right, thanks, Abby. Um, before we begin, let's very briefly touch on developer relations as a practice area, not as a whole, but just the parts of it that go into a Hello World experience for developers who are building on Hedera for the first time. So the first step is to know who our developers are, not on an individual basis, but rather in archetypes. So think segmentation, personas. Here we see an example of a developer persona, and it's all the details about a fictitious developer who represents a particular segment of developers that's deemed important. At the bottom, you'll see discover, evaluate, learn, build, scale. And this is where you start designing the developer journey for this particular persona, which segues into the developer journey map. So for each persona, the second step is to map out the details of each of the stage uh, of each stage of the developer journey. This is done by answering the questions that you see at the top and using those to identify internal and external touch points, which you see at the bottom. Right. So let's reorient those stages that you saw vertically and think about the developer journey as a series of funnels, each of which has its own conversion rate, meaning that only a percentage of developers in one stage will move on to the next. And let's assume that all of the stages have a conversion rate of 5%. We end up with a vanishingly small number that actually make it through till the end. Next, let's assume that instead of 5%, we have a 10% conversion rate throughout instead. We have a small number that makes it through to the last stage, but it is a significant improvement. The point is that improving this conversion rate has a compounding effect. So it is very high reward. And that brings us to the aim of uh, for this exercise. What a DevRel team would do is to focus on one persona and for that persona focus on one stage of their developer journey and within that stage focus on one touch point. The aim is to optimize that touch point. Now this requires some research to find out exactly when and why a developer stops developing. A, develop a usability test is designed to extract these insights and the DevRel team then conducts the research amongst itself and then rolls out the conduct of that same usability test um, to the broader community of developers. All right, so now it's time for a live demo and Abby will be role-playing as a developer from the Web3 emerging segment, right, who is currently in the learn stage of their developer journey with Hedera and is interacting with the Hello World Tutorials touchpoint. Um, here's an example of a flowchart for the conduct of a usability test, which you see on the left, and also some sample questions and prompts on the right. And these are mainly focused on identifying developer friction points. All right, Abby, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, let's make sure that I've got your screen shared. All right. Um, we see Abby, we see your screen on, on this, on the live stream now. <laughs> All right. So, um, so now Abby is, like I mentioned before, Abby is going to role play, um, a, a participant in a usability test. And so let's begin. Mm -hmm. 